Okay, so y'all remember Dylan Mulvaney? He was made a national celebrity. He did an interview with the president of the United States. And then Dylan Mulvaney got a spate of corporate endorsements, including Bud Light. And that actually initiated the single most important conservative boycott of any product in modern history. The conservative boycott of Bud Light, which totally tanked its sales and turned it from the number one selling beer in the United States into an also ran. Until it was summarily ended by a cast of characters, including Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson, for no reason that anyone can quite discern. Because it was successful. And there was literally no reason to allow Bud Light out of that box. Well, now Dylan Mulvaney has moved on to his next glorious cultural moment. He is cutting a pop song about being a girl. Let's listen to a really crappy song and watch a dude dance around in a girl's dress pretending to be a girl. A uh, girl's shoes, but very man feet. There we go. Yep. I'm going to go inside the pink Barbie house. Days of girlhood. Dylan Mulvaney. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so first of all, pause it for a second. I, I would just like to, I would like to announce at this point that Dylan Mulvaney's picture of being a girl is apparently driving a pink Mustang, walking into a house with a pink door, and gallivanting around in lingerie while sipping champagne in bubble baths. He's not trafficking in female stereotypes at all, guys. This is what all the ladies do. I've been reliably informed. We have some ladies who work with us. Um, gals, in your off hours, is this what your life looks like? You like pop into your pink Mustang, go home to your house where some other weird lady in polka dots serves you tea in, in pink containers. I have no idea the, the sex of the person who is in the polka dot dress. I will assume trans because otherwise, I don't know. I, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to assume anything. Whatever. A human of unspecified gender wearing a polka dot dress. We'll get to more on this in a moment. First, let's be real. French fries are the only good vegetable there is, but Unfortunately, they're not really vegetables the way that you're supposed to think about vegetables. This is why you need balance of nature fruits and veggies. It's the most convenient way to get whole food ingredients daily, you know, like the veggies that count. Balance of nature uses an advanced cold vacuum process that encapsulates fruits and veggies into whole food supplements without sacrificing those natural antioxidants. The capsules are completely void of additives, fillers, extracts, synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar. The only thing in balance of nature is fruit and veggie capsules. That'd be the fruits and the veggies. Balance of nature helps our bodies obtain the necessary nutrients for proper functioning. Replacing deficient nutrients can increase energy levels and provide other health benefits. I've been traveling a lot. Often I get sick when that happens. That hasn't been happening since I've started taking balance of nature. Imagine trying to eat 31 different fruits and veggies every day. That sounds horrifying, but with balance of nature, there's never been an easier way to ensure you get your daily fruits and veggies. Go to balanceofnature.com, use promo code Shapiro, get 35% off your first set of fruits and veggies and an additional 10 bucks off every additional set you buy. That's balanceofnature.com, promo code Shapiro. This is like, honest to God, this is the most sexist thing I have ever heard. It is so unbelievably sexist. It's so sexist. If this is all women were, they'd be the most frivolous, stupid creatures on earth. Like, li listen, to, listen to this. Okay, you ready? We're doing hot girl bleep get in. Okay, here is the here is the pre-chorus. You ready? Monday can't get out of bed. That's you, ladies. You can't get out of bed on Mondays. That's that's what it means to be a girl. Is is to be like radically depressed, so depressed that on Tuesday morning you pick up your meds. Must be great to be a girl, ladies. That's what this man is telling you. But you have to listen to him because he's dressed up as a chick. Wednesday retail therapy, cash or credit? I say yes. So um. The way that you actually have therapy, at no point does a person have, you know, a family or a job, of course, because this is a man dressed as a woman. But retail therapy, in other words, you you just go shopping. Mm -hmm. So meds, shopping, and depression. But don't worry, the week isn't over. Thursday had a walk of shame, didn't even know his name, says Dylan Mulvaney, because that's what is great for the ladies. Ladies, you're all radically promiscuous. That's what it means to be a girl, after all. Doesn't mean getting married and having kids. God forbid. I mean, Dylan Mulvaney can't have kids. Ain't no appendages or equipment for that. But that's the, uh, you know, the apparent walk of shame. That, so again, just to recap your week, ladies. Radically depressed, took medication, racked up some credit card debt, and then had sex with a rando and had a walk of shame. Weekends are for kissing friends because apparently all the girls are bisexual or something. Friday night, all over spends. Now they're going to spend even more money. Saturday, we flirt for drinks. Playing wingman to our So, girls, all you do on Saturday is you are alcoholics who hang out with gay men. Sunday, the Twilight soundtrack, Use My Breakdown in the Bath. So, on Sundays, you, in preparation for not being able to get out of bed, on Sundays, you listen to the Twilight soundtrack 
and then you have a breakdown. That's your week. Okay, so Rebecca Black's Friday is a terrible, stupid song. But it's not inherently evil and damaging. This is the most sexist, horrible to women trash that has ever been put to film. And women everywhere are going to treat this as though this is like, okay. Okay, I guess we have to continue this. Here we go. I need to go back there for a second. Just horrific. More horrific crap. Okay, so the lyrics say, Hi, girl, to the front of the line. Link arms, no stress, because we're dressed to the nine. Mini skirt, it's below my hips. Right? Again, girls, you're all promiscuous and you dress horribly. Dye my hair blonde, pillow talk all night. Boys on the dance floor, it's finally clear. The patriarchy is over. You can hold our beer. The patriarchy had even begun. That's a dude. And that dude is apparently a better lady than any all y'alls. That's what we're learning. That seems like the ultimate, a- this, this guy is the apex predator of the patriarchy. He is so good at manning that he is outwomaning you as a woman. That's the, cl- the patriarchy is so over that this man can pretend to be a woman and then yell about the patriarchy. With twig and berries attached. Like, it's amazing. And you can hold our beer. I mean, you did do an extraordinary amount of brand damage to Bud Light. Uh, and then, of course, it's back to being a miserable, depressed person, right? Back at home, replay the breakup, stay up all night, fall asleep in our makeup. And then we get into mom brought me into the world. Sister taught me how to girl. You can't be taught how to girl. You just are one. That's not how that works. I mean, honestly, take this to any other context. But no, we're supposed to take this seriously. Best friend coached me how to text the boy toy that I'm dating next. Girls do all show me the way. That's why I'm a girl today. Well, you're not. And then it's just, uh, and then it's just a a repeat of the chorus. So, I hope that you enjoyed that in some way, shape, or form, because that was just torture on every level. It's aesthetic torture. It's vi- it's visual torture. It's audio torture. It, it's just it, it's oh my gosh. And more than anything else, it's philosophical and political torture. So, um, I guess we can play this at Gitmo. That's the best use of it. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah. Me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 